right, good afternoon. It is 1.30 p.m. Friday, February 17th, 2017. I apologize, it's been a while since I've done an earthquake update or forecast as I've been having some uh, issues, some personal issues at home having to deal with over the last few weeks. But anyway, I do want to point out a few things that have happened over here in the last couple of days. Um, over here in uh, Fiji in the Tonga area the day before yesterday there was a large deep earthquake this this earthquake that I'm pointing at right here is not the one we're talking about it's already gone off the map and I don't have time to go back and set set the settings to show the earthquakes from two days ago but it was in the same location the only difference is down here where you see 95 kilometers it was actually uh, over 300 kilometers and uh, over 4.0 which makes it a large deep earthquake that large deep earthquake will transfer to the surface and produce larger shallower earthquakes incidentally right over here in uh, the northern Mariana Islands was also a 4.7 at 389 kilometers that constitutes an, a separate large deep earthquake which will produce its own series of large shallow earthquakes. So we had the one over here in Fiji in the Tonga area a couple of days ago, which will come up to the surface with large deep earthquakes, uh, excuse me, large shallow earthquakes. And now you have another large deep earthquake over here in the Mariana Islands, which will again produce its own large shallow earthquakes. The seismic pressure from both of these will transfer along the plate boundaries and uh, follow these plate boundaries right here and with a larger shallower earthquake so the uh, the large deep earthquake over here in the Tonga Fiji region was a, also a 4.5 which will produce a 5.5 to 6.5 somewhere in this area right in here and then this one will produce a 5.7 to 6.7 somewhere in this region up in here um, with the Fukushima nuclear power plant and the reactor number two experiencing higher levels of radiation than ever before uh, it's critical to keep your eyes on a seismic activity in this region because it's already unstable at the Fukushima power plant as it is six years after the reactors started to melt down so any any seismic activity over here could spell potential disaster um, if that uh, reactor number two is damaged from any seismic activity it, it could really get out of control so that's just something to keep an eye on right there but over the next five days or so we're expecting a 5.7 to 6.7 and a 5.7 to 6.7 up in this region from this earthquake and a 5.7 to 6.7 over in this area from the large deep earthquake that was over here a couple of days ago. Incidentally, there's a fairly large 4.7 over here in Hawaii. Uh, Hawaii's been experiencing smaller quakes in the two to three range pretty much daily for months now. But this is a, a fairly large earthquake. That's a 4.7, almost a five uh, over here in Hawaii so there's definitely some seismic pressure the reason why the depth matters on these particular earthquakes like this one at 389 kilometers is because that makes the origination point of the earthquake at an area down below the crust called the asthenosphere and uh, that's just right up underneath the earth's plate or the earth's crust this whole entire region here is called the pacific plate and it has been under seismic pressure for almost a year now. Tremendous pressure, um, unusual tremendous pressure. So something's going on down beneath, beneath the Earth's plate in the asthenosphere. And when earthquakes originate down below the plate, they typically produce larger, shallower earthquakes up at the surface where damage is caused and people can feel them. That pressure transfers in several directions when they happen here but mainly when they happen here they transfer up to the north they could possibly also transfer over here to the west in uh, Taiwan which is this area right in here 
and in the Philippines. So the pressure from this one is going to go down to the south in New Zealand and will likely produce a 5.7 to 6.7 earthquake down in this region here over the next four or five days. And again, over here in the Solomon Islands, Papua New Guinea and the Indonesian Islands, Philippines, uh, the Mariana Islands, Japan, Taiwan. All of this area right here should be on a watch over the next four or five days for a significant 5.7 to 6.7 earthquake or greater, even possibly a 7. The pressure from this area also transfers all the way up into here, into Myanmar, um, into Burma, Nepal, and then up in here into Afghanistan, and then over here towards Iran, and then that pressure will eventually go to Turkey, Greece, and then in Italy. So Italy should be on alert for, uh, you know, four three to 4.0 magnitude earthquakes over the next four or five days. Um, Myanmar and Nepal also looking for four to 5.0 earthquakes, all generating from the large deep earthquakes here and here over the next four or five days. Incidentally, uh, if any of you watch my uh, videos on the Oroville Dam in California, I did find back on the 8th when the dam started to uh, break away and it really became apparent that it had uh, it was experience of failure at about three o'clock in the afternoon on the 8th there was a 2.1 quarry blast and so we're going to go take a look at that and I'm going to show you where that is in proximity to this dam so we're going to switch this to a satellite view just so you can see things a little bit better and then we're going to zoom in on that earthquake that happened. They're listing it as a quarry blast. Um, I'm not sure if it was a quarry blast or an earthquake. This is all the valley down in here. And uh, we're in Northern California. And right here is where the dam is. So I'm going to zoom right down in on that dam just so that you can see that that earthquake slash quarry blast was less than three miles away from this dam right here and so we're going to zoom in on the dam real quick just take a look at it it's just a little side note something that uh, i had picked up on so here's the dam here's where the failure of the emergency spill this is the emergency spillway this is old satellite imagery so the spillway is intact this whole piece from about right here all the way down here is no longer there they're going to have to rebuild this and they're they're busy shoring it up um, this area is expecting another three inches of rain over the next day or two um, and so uh, after the eighth after this quarry blast up over here here's your quarry blast uh, and again this is about three miles from here to here however the quarry is all the way over here so I don't know why they've listed this way up here about 3,000 feet away from the quarry as a quarry blast. Maybe they were doing some work to expand the quarry. I don't know. But you can zoom down in on it and see that the quarry is here. This is the quarry. This is where the 2.0 magnitude seismic activity was registered. Um, and the USGS again has listed it as a quarry blast. A 2.1 is a pretty big quarry blast. I'm not saying that that's not what it was. I'm just saying it's unusual. And it's a pretty good distance from the actual quarry itself as far as what we can see. Again, this imagery is old. So, you know, maybe by now they've expanded that quarry up in this area. Maybe it was blasting. I just thought it was pretty interesting that the exact same day that the, uh, the major failure started to re to occur right here was the exact same day at three o'clock in the afternoon that this 2.1 showed up on the USGS. So that's just something to keep in mind. Um, this whole entire area has a lot of other dams along it. This just happens to be one of the largest or tallest earthen dams in the entire United States right here. If this thing goes with the next couple of days worth of rain it could spell potential disaster for all of this area down in here and in here so just something to keep an eye on and just a note related to earthquakes that the same day the the spillway began to fail 
there was a 2.1 registered on the USGS. I'll try to come back and make another video later this week. Again, I apologize that I haven't been doing earthquake videos as uh, I've had some, some issues that I've been having to take care of and some crisis that I'm dealing with. But anyway, I appreciate you guys checking out my videos. I certainly appreciate the uh, subscriptions and the thumbs up on the videos. Please leave your comments in the comments section below and uh, feel free to contact me through my contact information which is in the description box of this video. God bless you and have a nice day.